Okay, oh, my eating disorder. Well, this was definitely the hardest battle I've, I've been through. Harder than cancer, harder than my drug-induced psychosis, harder than the whole drug thing. This had me gripped so tightly. It was not letting go. I, I was desperate to come out of this. I, it was my one wish in life. It was so hard, so consuming overwhelming I was out of control completely and oh, I'm so glad I'm out of it now to anyone who's gone through something like that now my heart goes out to you but have hope because you can come out of it too you know I have this happened to me right and you know I was bad but three that was three years ago now Three years ago, there's been not one relapse, not even close. I've come out of it. And the way I came out might not be the same for you. You know, we're all different, whatever. But you can come out of it. So just have hope and keep keep searching for, or keep trying, keep searching for what works for you. So I'm going to tell you this story now. Um, yeah, hopefully it can act as some inspiration or motivation. So when did it start? Okay, well I started binge eating big time when I was in hospital, when I was on the steroids because all I wanted to do was eat. I'd eat so, so much food that I had to spew. Like I literally had to. And I think that's where it all kind of started. I became a really bad binge eater after that. I would eat by far more than anyone I knew and yeah, just disgusting amounts. I just couldn't stop myself. If I'd start eating something sweet, you know, like some people say, oh, if I eat one square, I have to eat the whole block. If I eat one square, I'm going to eat the whole block and then I'm going to eat the whole tub of ice cream and then I'm going to go make, you know, a milkshake. Like, yeah, I was next level, man. And, um, and yeah, and then I think one Christmas, I just ate so much food I was having a shower and I thought, I was really uncomfortable, and I thought, I could spew this up, you know? Yeah, I'll feel better. So I spewed, and I felt better. And I thought, cool, all those calories, now I don't have to feel bad about them, because I was working so hard, like training so hard in the gym to maintain a you know, normal weight. And um, I guess it just escalated from there, you know? I think. I would only do it occasionally at first if I just eat way too much one time. Like I was always eating too much, but if one time I just ate way too much, I'd spew it up. And um, I guess just that easy way of, you know, I could then I could binge and not feel bad and not have all those calories. It was just too good to be true kind of thing. So I got into a habit of binging and purging, like bulimia, man. And um, which was so messed up because I was a personal trainer, you know. I'm trying to tell people how to eat, how to be healthy. Meanwhile, I'm battling with this eating disorder. So it got to the point where, you know, like some days I'd spew four, five, six times in a day. I was spewing every day. And um, I didn't want to be. Like, I was so addicted, man. I was so addicted to binge eating. And... Um, and then spewing that I would think about it all the time. I'm like, as soon as, you know, as soon as there's an opportunity, let's say I was at my mum and dad's and, and they left, like I'd be, I'd be anxious waiting for them to leave. I'm like, please, like, oh, hurry up and get out of here so that I can binge and spew. And they'd leave and I'm like, yes, I'm go upstairs, just raid the fridge, like eat all this food and go, oh my God, what have I done? Go down, spew it up, go back, eat more. Cause it was just this never ending cycle. I was never satisfied, you know? Um, food satisfies hunger it doesn't satisfy anything else I didn't understand that at the time you know I'd leave work in the evening after telling people how to be healthy whatever and then I'd stop at the service like I'd be driving like just so agitated like I felt like a crack addict like just like oh my god I drive past the service station I'd go and buy four magnum ice creams and then I'd sit in the car and I'd just smash them so quick like didn't even barely taste them and I'm like, I thought, oh, okay, that'll give me a hit, but I'd eat them and then I'd be like, nah, I need more. And I'd go back to a different service station, buy a couple more ice creams, like sit there. And it was just continuous. And um, oh my God, it was just so bad. Like I was just totally out of control. Like, you know, I was working on the cruise ship and it was buffet, buffet, 
dessert. So I'd smash all these desserts, like so many of them, then I'd go spew. And, um, you know, like, oh God, it was just disgusting having to spew all the time. You know, shoving your fingers down your throat, like, and, you know, it was giving me bad neck. It was making my breath bad. It, it can ruin your teeth. And it's just not healthy, man. Like, it's just so unhealthy. What a relationship with food. Like, it was so unhealthy. And, but it was out of control that I couldn't deal with. Like, I was properly out of control. I begged, you know, like, I prayed. Like, I, I wrote notes to myself all the time. Like, just try this, try that. You know, I was trying so much. I was reading books and overeating on binge eating, on bulimia, all this stuff. And um, it just wasn't helping, eh? It was not helping. I didn't realize, you know, and I didn't realize at the time, but what, when it really got bad was when I stopped doing the drugs after that first Vipassana, I started eating more. You know, that's what kind of happened. I replaced one drug, you know, with using food as a drug. And, um, Thankfully, like, so I battle this, like, oh my God, it just upset me so bad. I don't know if I'm, if I can convey to you just how badly this addiction had me and how hopeless I felt and how horrible I felt every single day. And I just felt like I had, I didn't tell anyone about it. I had this massive secret. I felt like a phony as a personal trainer. Like, you know, I'm so sorry to all my clients. You know, I tried my, I still try to be like the best trainer I could, but I just, it's just, it was ingenuine in a way, and anyway, I was doing my best, but, so, thank God, like, one day, I was going to buy my friend a book for her birthday, I think it was, and I was going to buy this book called The Power by Rhonda Byrne, which is this epic book on positive thinking and stuff, and um, it wasn't there, so I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can buy something else, and I'm looking through the books, and I see this book called End Emotional Eating by Dr. Jennifer Tates. And I read the back. I'm like, what's this? And I read the back. Like, what's emotional eating? I didn't even know. I read the back of this book. And I was like, oh my God. That is me. Like, that's what I am. You know, I'm an emotional eater. I'd never understood that I was an emotional eater before. You know, I was eating for all the wrong reasons. Boredom, stress. Um, to procrastinate because I was tired like I was eating for all these reasons I, I never ate for the right reason because I was hungry because I never gave myself the opportunity to get hungry because I was always eating and um, so I was eating for every reason apart from the one you should actually eat for I was an emotional eater massive I was eating my feelings I read this book and this it came at the perfect time because it's you know this was just after my first Vipassana the person who wrote this book was into the pastor and that kind of stuff. So she wrote it in that kind of a way where I could just totally relate to it. And this, this book changed everything. I think I bought about 10 copies just to give to people. I'm like, take this book, take this book, take this book. Incredible, incredible book. Full of exercises, very easy to understand. Phenomenal book and emotional eating, Dr. Jennifer Tates. Oh my God, thank you, Dr. Jennifer Tates. I read this book, I understand, this is me. This is my problem. Like, wow, a way out. And it was a way out. And I started eating perfectly. And then I'd start binging far less and spewing far less. But I was still doing it, I was still doing it. And that only stopped, like I understood, but it was just this habit to break at this point. Um, and if like I needed to, I was just in a habit of, oh, that's just what I do, right? It was some of the control I'd, I'd regained and then it only all ended though the day I started my vow of silence so the day I started my vow of silence was a special day for three reasons the day I started my vow of silence was the day I started my vow of silence for a year that was a special thing it was also the day that I went fully vegan you know before that I would eat vegan and be vegan for a few weeks and then because of my issues with eating I would blow out and binge and I didn't want to be like I felt so bad for the dairy cows when I was eating ice cream but I was addicted I was addicted to I don't know the dairy or the the, the drug like effect of consuming food in that way I, whatever I could not stop as much as I desperately wanted to the, fir the first of January 2013 is the day I started my foul science it's the day that I no 2014 yeah, 2004. 
So that's out of my vow of silence. It's the day that I said, that's it. No more blowouts. No more of that. I'm vegan now. And that's 100%. I'm not, I'm not going to go three weeks and go, oh, I'll just have a bit of dairy. Nah, it's done. And the third thing was, it was the day I said, I am never binging and spewing again. That is over. I had to have a day. I had to say, that's it. And that was it. Never done it since. I did binge. And I, I, I still binge every now Like, not binge. I don't really binge every anymore. But I still overeat sometimes. And, um, you know, sometimes I eat when I'm bored or whatever. But it's, it's completely different now. Like, you know, it's, it's rare and it's not a big deal to me anymore. But after, my, um, after that, the 1st of January, and I said, I'm not doing that anymore. I remember it was about a month into my vow songs. Or maybe not even that long. And I bought... Um, I was in this town by myself and traveling around Australia. I bought a tub of, I just wanted to emotionally eat. I just wanted to, I knew it was bad. But I was like, I don't care, I just want to do it. I bought a tub of so good vanilla ice cream and a tub of peanut butter. And I was like, I'm just gonna eat this whole thing. And I started eating it and I'm, I'm munching. I, I smashed almost that entire tub of ice cream and like half of the tub of peanut butter. And I felt so sick, obviously. But I was like, too bad, mate. You ate it, you're not spewing. And I was like, oh my God, like ice cream's so easy to spew. So I was like, oh God, I could really, really, like I'd love to just spew this. But I knew that if I did, the habit just starts all over again. And I would rather feel like shit for the next four, five, six hours and put on however much weight that would put on, however much fat on my body. I'd rather have to go through that crap experience then start that cycle of binging and purging all over again. I just knew that if I if I just go, oh, okay, just this once, oh, then another time, then it's like, nah, never again, ever, no matter what the circumstance, you know, too bad. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And I dealt with it and I woke up the next morning and I was like, oh, I feel so crap, but I'm so glad I didn't do that. And I haven't done it since. And I never will do it again, just like I'll never do drugs again. So. So that is basically it, man. That is, yeah, a few of the big things that happened in my life. If you have any questions about any of them, the drugs, the drug-induced psychosis, um, you know, the, the eating disorder, anything at all that, you know, you think I might be able to help you with, feel free to ask. I'd be, you know, that's why I'm putting these videos up. I'd love to be able to help any of you come out of this because, man, like, we all go through tough stuff and you know, a really good way to come out of it is to speak to someone else who's already done that. So I hope you enjoyed these videos and um, you know me just kind of being a bit more personal with you and just sort of filling you in and telling you how I got to be, you know, where I'm at today and um, you know, like how things are now. So things are good now, man. Things have never been better never been better i'm so happy i'm so healthy every day is good i've got a good relationship with a great relationship with food now you know i love eating food and there's no it's no drama anymore man like i finally got my wish you know drugs i'll never do drugs again no way would i bring myself back down here i'm up here now and i'm continuing to get brighter and brighter every day and the cancer well that's well and truly in my past so things are so good and um, I hope if you're battling in some way that you know things will be good for you soon too so thanks for watching my vids and best wishes to you